Right, so earlier on we had done a little bit of dino cheating. Um, this was just more of to show people how figures are irrelevant because it all depends on the dino operator, how they strap the car down, what they're trying to hide potentially as well. Uh, we've come up with a genuine figure which the car was strapped down correctly of 424 horsepower. We've then loosened the straps, we've actually loosened them a fair amount to allow the car to roll up into the top of the roller. Um, this basically takes out the mathematical sum of the back roller. Uh, when the wheel comes up and bites on the top roller, you'll find it will stay up there if you have enough torque to hold it there or loose enough straps. So instantly, the reams are much higher across the whole road range. We've, we've gained essentially 28 horsepower at peak, but for the whole road range, it's changed. And so the, well, if I gave you that graph, you just wouldn't know simply. Uh, it took a few attempts to get there. We show you these. Um, this is how you normally know if someone's in roll climbing because the power tails off earlier and starts like crossing over. We call it dive bombing. Um, some people cut the dyno graph off earlier, so they'd cut the graph off here and you wouldn't even know. We'd do the graph all the way to past the limiter to sort of show you all this. Um, so you can see how we failed earlier with the strapping again to come up and then the drop back in the roller. But that is how easy it is for some people to cheat and if you check some people's YouTube videos out you probably actually see this um, we've made it quite clear you see you even see the jump back and the dyno at the end the car should barely move it should come up a little bit potentially but anywhere to the extreme you're getting say the graph tailing past like standard graph or so on you're clearly getting roller climb on there so yeah an easy way to look like you're making more horsepower